Hey, it's May here. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you could get noticed by senior management for all the right reasons? After all, it could lead to bigger, better opportunities, more respect from your colleagues, and advancing in your career more quickly and smoothly. Well, unfortunately, keeping your head down and doing a great job at your job is no longer good enough. But the good news is you also don't have to jump up and down and be flamboyant and do something totally out of character to get noticed. In fact, in my experience, what it takes is to double down on what's in your character. Yeah, to really tap into the true you. And here are three ways to do that. The first is in what you wear. So what you wear, the way you do your hair, the, your accessories, uh, your makeup, these all give indications of who you really are and they can show your personality. So don't feel like you have to conform 100% to the dress code. And also don't feel like you have to reject the entire dress code. In my experience, to be 10 to 20% different is really the sweet spot. So take my client, for example, who just joined uh, a financial services firm, an investment banking firm, and he had come from another industry. So he did not know the unwritten rule that you don't wear brown. No brown shoes, no brown belts, no brown suits. I have no idea why. I just know you don't wear brown. So day one, he had purchased these beautiful handmade Italian leather shoes and they were brown. So everybody gave him a lot of grief and he decided that that was too different and it was distracting. So he was not going to make his personal statement about wearing brown shoes. Instead, very cleverly decided to change his ties and make those really speak for him because he's really creative and also some uh, eyeglasses that were yellow. Very cool. And he is now viewed as a hugely successful um, senior person in the firm and he is seen as the most creative, innovative person on the team. So the second thing is pay attention to what you say, because what you say also conveys a lot about how you think and who you really are. And this is where you want to be aware of what you're saying, the tone of voice you're saying it in and how that's coming across to others. So an example that comes to mind is a former colleague who was a complainer. She complained about everything, the policies, the managers, the weather. And finally, somebody pointed it out to her and she had no idea. She was, it turns out, going through some really tough personal times. Her husband had gotten laid off. She was a sole breadwinner. They have young children and she was caring for an ill relative. So once she realized how she was coming across, she was able to change that and get noticed for more of the right reasons. So think about how you want to come across and what you say. Are your words meant to be showing you as that uplifting positive person, or maybe you're the one who is calm and measured in your advice, or perhaps you're that creative, innovative one. So think about that. And then the third way is to look at what you consistently do. And actions speak louder than words. So this is where you want to be looking for opportunities to lend a hand or support somebody and help others in a way that you're not expecting something in return, because that's not such a great way to get noticed. And uh, the example I think of is NBA basketball coach Maurice Cheeks, who was um, on court just before the most important game of the series and a 13 year old girl was standing up on stage singing the national anthem and she forgot the words in the middle of it. So he saw that she was being humiliated in front of 20,000 people and he walked right up on stage and started feeding her the words and singing along with her and got the entire crowd of 20,000 people to start singing too. And you can bet that he got noticed for the right reasons by his boss, by the fans, by a lot of people uh, watching TV. So to get noticed by senior management, there are a lot of these easy ways by simply 
being your true self and bringing your true self. And that's what I suggest that you double down on. So be your whole self, which is also your best self. And the, the side benefit is that it's going to be so much easier for you because you're not going to have to hide parts of yourself that you, you're afraid people might not approve of. And let the true you show up in what you wear, what you say, and what you do. So what one simple thing could you do this week to let the true you show up in your work? Leave a comment and let me know. And if you're watching this from somewhere other than my blog, head on over to maybush.com forward slash blog and I look forward to welcoming you there. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then hit the red button to subscribe and the bell to get notified of new videos. So go out there and be bold, play big and spark joy for yourself and everyone around you.